welcome to our latest rendition of the Raymond Lewis podcast. I am your host, Billy Campbell. Right here, I'm bringing in someone else that has some involvement with the documentary. I'm talking to another basketball legend, as well as executive producer, Ed Gordon. Thank you for sitting down with us today. We appreciate you coming. Absolutely. The pleasure's mine. How's it? How's everything for you right now? Life is great. Life, Life is, is great. great. Just uh, following uh, these Denver Nuggets and yeah, you no know, riding that uh, roller coaster is uh, yeah. been pretty exciting. <laughs> Robust move inside. Wow. Aaron Gordon again. Yeah, I was going to ask. So, people want to know the involvement with the film. What was your first initial involvement with the film? And why did you want to be involved with this film? I, uh, both Raymond and I, you know, graduated from uh, Roman Day. So, I felt like uh, I felt passionate about getting his story out. I mean, he is absolutely a legend and people need to know about it. Yeah, thank you. Definitely. That's that's another question I wanted to ask. Where were you at in your life when you first saw Raymond Lewis? The first time you lay lot eyes on Raymond Lewis? Uh I was I was in high school. I was a, a senior at Verbum Day, and uh we would uh, you know, a bunch of the alumni and current players uh would get together uh, after school and play two on two full court. And uh, and that's where I first, you know, first ran into him. I mean, he was yeah. very, very legendary. I mean, we had to uh, we had to create the, the Raymond Lewis rule, which was uh, <laughs> after he wins three consecutive games, he's got to sit out and let everybody else play, and come yeah. back in because just would not lose. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm assuming you're you're from Los Angeles as well. Correct. Okay. All right. Where, where are you from, Watts? Well, I went to school with Watts. I yeah. uh, was lived in Carson, California, but uh, okay. just okay. Yeah, right there, right, 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 right away. Yeah, so yeah, I was going to ask a little bit more about that. How was LA culture playing ball, going to the parks, uh, people being in the gym? How how was it around that time? Uh, just give a give us a little picture of just how competitive it was and the different areas, the CIFs, the cities, and the different players coming out. How was it like during that time? Uh, well, it was extremely competitive, extremely competitive. I, uh, in all honesty, I kind of uh, got to the game of basketball rather late. I, I didn't really uh, start playing organized basketball until I got to high school. So um, I, I – didn't get around to all of the parks and, you know, recreational places that some of my peers did yeah. because they grew up playing AAU ball and they knew where to go. I, uh, uh, once I got to high school and started to play, uh, first went to Carson high school for my, uh, 10th and 11th grade year and then transferred to Vermont day. Uh, my senior year and uh to be quite honest with you that was where the run was uh every day because we had so many great players uh, that came through there and we all would come back there and you know know that we can get a nice healthy run with no you know no bs involved yeah. uh, and, uh, and and you know we had uh the guys coming back coming over from you know, free mind from the other schools, you know, coming in and, and playing. So that that was some tremendous run for, in my opinion. Yeah, because I just wanted to emphasize the importance of even just going to Bourbon Day and playing for there back then, because people look at it like, oh, okay, what what is that school now? You know, but back then it was it was it was like a badge of honor to be Absolutely. in that school and play ball, any sport. Well, Absolutely. Uh, sports. Absolutely. Uh, I, when my senior year there, uh, 79, we were the number one school, number one high school in the nation. Yeah. And so uh, that that being said, <clears throat> we had the Fremonts, you know, and, yeah. and the uh, Crenshaws, and, you know, it was a battle. It was a battle. But uh, it was only a battle when we played each other. Yeah. Uh, but 
when when we were not playing each other yeah. uh, uh, with the lights on, yeah. we were playing against each other to sharpen our skills. And, you know, it was okay. still a battle, but it was, you know, brotherly love. It was, it was a fraternity, you know, with yeah. all the different schools and the whole bit. Uh, we, we knew that we could uh, make each other better. And that's basically what we were trying to do. Mm -hmm.